we are back. Last video, we checked out black Promis filters to see what kind of difference they make for your footage. This time, we're actually checking out software plugins that emulate diffusion filters to see if they're a good alternative to their physical counterparts. We'll be comparing Film Look Creator by DaVinci Resolve, Dehancer, and Scatter by Video Village. Rather than dive into the intricacies of each piece of software and their settings, I simply dialed in settings that I thought were most flattering for a diffusion effect. Because each piece of software offers different settings, you can't really make an apples to apples comparison. However, I will show you the settings that I used for each one. I'll also show you comparisons to a Tiffin Black Promise filter, not because they're supposed to look the same, but simply so you have a reference for the aesthetic of a software filter compared to a physical one. Just before I share my findings, let's take a look at the benefits you get with software filters over physical ones. One of the biggest is flexibility. You can dial in the exact amount of diffusion that you want from scene to scene or shot to shot, and you're not stuck with whatever was captured in camera. And if you're doing client work and they don't end up liking the diffused look, you can just dial it in as needed or even remove it altogether. You can use masks to selectively add diffusion only to the specific parts of your shot that you want. Because it's software, you can use keyframes to modify the amount of diffusion over time. And it's one less piece of gear to manage. And say you're swapping lenses during a shoot, you don't have the added step of swapping diffusion filters from one lens to another. All right, let's check out these diffusion plugins. And we're gonna move through these shots rather quickly because there are a fair amount of them, but you can always pause and screenshot to later review and compare at your own pace. Let's start with Film Look Creator, which comes with the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. Because this plugin is designed to be a film emulation effect with many features, I've zeroed out every other component so that all we'll be seeing is the effects of bloom and halation. Here's the settings I used. Here's the no filter shot for reference, which includes a bright light source so you can see its impacts on diffusion. And here's the same shot with Film Look Creator. Here's the side by side. A couple places you'll want to pay attention to to see the effects of bloom and halation are one, the skin, which is said to be subtly softened with diffusion. And on my shoulder here, right in front of the monitor, where you can see the effect of bloom as the glow of the monitor gently spreads over my left shoulder. You can see that doesn't happen in the no filter shot. And here's the same shot with the bright light source, so you can see the effect it has on diffusion. Here's Black Pro Mist compared to Film Look Creator. And here they are with the bright light source side by side. Here's the same scene, but this time with no bright light source directly in the shot. Here it is with Film Look Creator. And here's the side by side. Here's Black Pro Mist compared to Film Look Creator. Now we're going outside. Here's no filter for a reference. And here's the same shot with Film Look Creator. Here's the side by side. Here's Black Pro Mist compared to Film Look Creator. Next, we'll check out the Dehancer plugin. For disclosure, I was given a software license by Dehancer to check out their software. However, they don't get to review or influence the findings of this video. Dehancer is a complete film emulation package and Bloom and Halation are just two of the many features it has. You can also purchase Bloom and Halation as separate standalone plugins on their website, but for the sake of this video, we'll only be reviewing Bloom and Halation with all of their settings turned off. Here are the settings I used. Here's the no filter shot for reference. And here's Dehancer. And here they are side by side. And here's the same shot with the bright light source again. You can see I dialed in a softer setting with Dehancer this time as the bloom isn't as pronounced. Here's Black Pro Mist compared to Dehancer. And here's the bright light sources side by side as well. Here's the same scene but with no bright light source in the shot. And here's Dehancer. Here's the side by side. Here's Black Pro Mist compared to Dehancer. Now we're outside starting with no filter for reference. Here's the same shot with Dehancer. And the side by side. Here's Black Pro Mist compared to Dehancer. Scatter by Video Village is unique in that, rather than just emulating diffusion in general, you can choose up to 10 different diffusion emulations, which include Black Pro Mist and Glimmer Glass. Each of these have their own strength settings, just like their physical counterparts, and you can choose the focal length of the lens that you use to further dial it in. Their website says these are physically accurate emulations, so this one plugin is kind of like having 10 different diffusion filters at once. Here's the settings I used. Here's the no filter for reference. And here's scatter. And here's the side by side. And here's the side by side with the bright light source. 
And here's Black Pro Mist compared to Scatter. And here's the bright light source side by side. Here's the same scene, but with no bright light source in the shot. And here's what it looks like with Scatter. And the side by side. And here's Black Pro Mist compared to Scatter. Here we are outside again with no filter for reference. And here's the same shot with Scatter. Here's the side by side. And here's Black Pro Mist compared to Scatter. So I'm curious, did you have a favorite or would you consider making the jump to software diffusion filters? Let me know in the comments. To my eyes, I'd say that the Scatter plugin looks the most like the physical mist filter and it has the most options for looks. That said, I wouldn't say that any one of these pieces of software is better or worse than the other. Just like color grading, preferences in diffusion can be very subjective. And in my opinion, each of these pieces of software simply gives you a different look. In some cases, I think those looks are even better than the physical filter. And they come with all the benefits that we previously discussed of being software. Personally, while I own two brands of diffusion filters, these days I usually end up going soft most of the time simply because of how convenient and flexible it is. While adding diffusion can be a great way to upgrade the look of your footage, lighting is one of the most important and effective ways to do that. And I show you how in this video right here. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next one.